quite small as one ends up being. Holy shit, all the many musics are making my head spin. This is the reason why I don't keep my headphones on. Well, I'm just, oh my god, the lizard in my room just darted out from behind my shelves. They're becoming audacious. Oh, so this seems like a new lizard. What the heck? Where are they coming from? Is there like a nest of lizards? Oh, that couldn't possibly be good, right? <laughs> it's alright, it's okay. I'm I'm sure the lizards don't mean any harm. They couldn't possibly. I'm just such a normal, um, nice person. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, anyways. Oh my gosh, guys, guys, uh, guys. So today, I literally did not sleep that much. And, um, yeah. I just wanted to let y'all know that. I don't know why the volume of the game just isn't doesn't exist. Uh what the heck? Uh nani 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 back. Wait a second. Wait a second. What happened to the music? Oh, it's there. Okay, all right. That's good. That's good. You guys hi. Can you guys hear the music? I don't have my headphones on at the moment because I would get overwhelmed by the amount of volume things happening. This is after I turned down my headphones, the volume on my headphones. Even then, like, it was so loud. Kind of insane, I tell you. But yeah, here we are. We're not going to start a new save file to explore the whole new um, everything today. We are, in fact, going to just continue on from last time. And and hopefully we can build a chicken house, a coop, today. I believe, guys, I truly believe that today um, we can do it. You know? We can, we can find, find a way to gather enough money to, to build a coop. Oh my god! We're almost... We're, all of our things are almost ready for harvest! That's so nice! Okay, wait, I'm gonna... And then I'm gonna water my hops, right? Because that's what you do. I put a lot of fertilizers on most of my plant... Mo most of my crops so that I could make them gold star and higher. But as you can see, I don't think that's working very, very well. But it's alright, because I think we're still doing great. Like, in my opinion. You know? And every morning must start with watering one's crops, because the morning is the best time, you see? Like, no, genuinely, I think it is the best time. I'm pretty sure it's like a whole, like, agricultural science thing as well. Because it's like, in the morning, there's not nearly as much evaporation, right? So that would make sense. Look, we're so smart. We're, we're watering our crops. There's butterflies in the air. How nice is that for us? I really want to send in my axe for an upgrade. But it's definitely not today. Wait, let me let me give water to my beloved pet. And then I will I will Oh my god, let me pet you. Let me okay, no petting. I see how it is. Okay, I'm gonna drop off these, um... Well, this chocolate cake. Sweet peas, hops, and... No, I'll keep the gle green algae, because I actually do want to keep that. Oh, I, I can't get rid of the... Yeah. Huh. We can leave the sap, though. How much, uh... Do we need more... Do we need more wood to build a, a build a coop? I genuinely don't remember. So, eh? What's mining monthly? Eh? Eh? What's mining monthly? What does that mean? Never heard of that before. 
Have you guys heard of it? Okay, I'm gonna knock down this one because it seems like it's the smart thing to do. It's kind of in my way, you know what I mean? Let's hope the green rain rains fast. Read this book. How do I read it? Ah! Oh, that's so cool! I didn't know that we had skill books! What? Oh my god, I feel like I just learned something new about this game. I did not know we had skill books you could read. I feel like a changed person. Changed woman, if I must. Okay, now we're gonna go off to the carpenter's house. <gasps> Look at that! Look at that prime specimen! It's a grape! We can make wine with it. What is that? A bomb? Why do we have a bomb? Just sort of there. Okay, now... Shop. No. Construct farm buildings. Build. Yes. Uh, where should we put that coop? I think this would be a nice place for it. Can you relocate this stuff? My farm's huge, but there's so much nonsense all over it that that's not possible to really... I should have cleaned it up more, huh? Ooh. Look, there. Seems fine. It's a bit far, but... But it's fine, right? Okay, I think we can still go to the blacksmith. Wait, before we go to the blacksmith, we should go pick up the copper. So that... If we want to go to the blacksmith and we want to get our axe... Well, our axe upgraded. Then... It makes sense to at least go to the... At least go with him... Go to him with the right amount of things, you know? Okay, so... Our furnace, no wait, our chest full of copper and stuff is right here. I'm gonna take the whole thing. And I th think we need like 2,000 gold or something, so we'll see. Um, I'll sell some stuff to do that. Maybe. I don't know, honestly. No idea how it would be possible to get all the stuff that I need with my lack of resources because clearly I don't have that many resources oh hey a little quest gold bar oh I don't have one I wish I did though suddenly I really want 750 750 gold no seriously though they're really offering 750 gold for me to like give somebody a gold bar but like is it really the value of a gold bar is 750 gold really the value of a gold bar or are these kind of scamming me because if they're kind of scamming me like i'd be mad but you know i'd also kind of accept it because i'm you know dumb and stuff but like dang okay let's go to him let's see if he can do things for us Aha! So we do need... So we do need 2,000 gold and 5 copper bars. Okay. I think we can do that by tomorrow. So I'm actually gonna go back home for now. And then I think what we should do is put enough... Uh, put enough of the thingies. Oh, you know what? We should go to the beach as well, I think. Maybe we can pick some stuff up to forage. That way, like, that way, like, we can make some money, you know? Hey, oyster! For me? Thank you! Yeah, for you! God, I wish I didn't give it to you sometimes, but, you know, I'm a nice person like that. I've always been nice. Let's go walk across to the other side, because there are usually a lot more forageables over there. Aha! I see coral. I see coral. Lots of coral. Four pieces? That's really good. 
Um, and then I think maybe we can, uh, maybe we can fish a little and hope for us to get, like, some fishies that will give us some more money. If we can get to 2,000, then we can at least go put our axe in for an upgrade. But I can't believe they require for us to pay 2,000 gold and provide the copper for an upgrade. Oops. Oops, I did it again. I played with your heart. Got lost in the game. Oh, baby, baby, oops. You think I'm in love. I'm sent from above. I'm not that innocent. Waiting, fishing, waiting, and fishing. More broken CDs? Are you serious? Let's hope that we actually get a fish this time. You're serious. This is for real. No, I've been consistently fed. Oh. Why do I have a training rod instead of the nicer one? Where's the other one? Huh? No wonder I wasn't fishing up much. It's because it was the training rod. Huh. So then where's my nicer fiberglass one? I swear it was there though. This is so weird. Don't know how I feel about this, genuinely. Oh, all my ex expectations were thwarted. I was so excited. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna fish and I'll, I'll get like a bit of money for it. Nope, just ended up wasting my time and energy. Okay, but for now, I think what we should do is go to our house, right? And put in the copper for smelting we need five copper bars at least and then if we still have some energy left i think it's fine if we go fishing somewhere close by not too far if you know what i mean we definitely built that chicken coop and we can hope we can hope that uh we'll get like the green rain i don't know the green rain looked so funny and cool oh i have more hops okay huh Oh no, I put these in. Oh, I'm the one that put these in. No, wait. I'm so dumb. Ha 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 ha. Gee. You'd think that I'd remember I did that. But I definitely, for sure, 100% didn't. Dang. Okay, let's see. Bamboo pole, fiberglass rod. Yep. I'll take that one. And then we leave the silver hops, should we? Uh, oh wait, there's iron ore here? What's iron ore doing there? Huh. Okay, what we need to do is have like it's gonna take a while i wish we could just build more furnaces actually you know what let me see if we can build more furnaces what do we need to build more furnaces 25 stone i literally just put away my stone guys what is this what is the meaning of this uh okay Uh, I'm gonna say let's just build two more because I, I have no idea why you'd want to build more than two. Well, maybe... Oh, I can't build it there? Why not? Why not there either? Holy crap. Okay, well... Okay, that's that's great. We did it, guys. Yeah, wow. That that was easy. Um, I think. 
I'm gonna go sell some stuff, you know? Just to make sure that we actually do have money after this. We can sell the oyster as well, I think. Maybe. Might be a bad idea. Okay, I'm gonna drop these in because I don't actually need more. As well as the copper bars, I think we should keep though. Because, you know, we need to... We need to... We need to get that... Get that upgrade. And I think after this we can go fishing. Yeah, I think after this it makes sense to go fishing, actually. Don't ask me what the logic is here. It just sort of makes sense to me. And honestly, that's the only person it needs to make sense to, right? Because it's like, as long as I understand, it's fine. I can just go fish a little bit. And then once I'm done fishing, like say by 11 p.m., I'll go back home. By that time, my energy should have run out as well sufficiently. I'll fish near the mines. That way we can like take advantage of this area. Because that is the perfect fishing spot. Like it's right there. Duh. It's like they want us to fish there, you know? Okay. Oh, nope. Nope, nope. This is not where I wanted to fish. Hello, fishing. Fishing right now, indeed. We need to make that 1000 gold today. Because I want to be able to... Nice, we got it! Let's go, we need a few more fish and I think we'll reach that 1000 gold mark by by today. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I'm really hoping. Or tomorrow I'll have to sell a bunch of stuff, which also is fine actually. Really not that big of a deal. Wow, those are being really easy, but they're both bullheads. I wonder if we got anything else, like a nicer fish? Maybe because we're night fishing, we'll get something crazy good. Although my luck... My luck is good, but my skills in fishing are possible. Mediocre, as one must say. Be honest, you know? Be honest about your own <laughs> skill level and fishing in a game. My, my skill level isn't terrible. It's just like, oh, I missed it. I was trying to get a sip of my um, really delicious strawberry green tea. Um, but I ended up dropping the coaster. And now we're here and I missed, I missed like two of the hits. I could have gotten a fish, man. A fish. I need that fish, please. How do you cook the fish? I need a kitchen for cooking, right? I don't have a kitchen. Okay, this is my last, uh, haunt. Nice, we got it, we got something. A chub. Okay, now we're done. That was the last one. We gotta go home now because, like, it's too late. And staying out late is not good because we might die. Also, I didn't know there were fireflies in the game. Oh my god. That's so cool, though. I genuinely didn't know that they had fireflies. Holy crap. That's so awesome. Wow. Oh. What was that? Did you guys see that? I swear, I I didn't imagine that, did I? There was like this thing that was like there. Um, what? Huh? Okay. Well, that's fine. Let's just go sleep. Maybe I imagined it. Maybe I imagined it. Maybe I imagined it. I hope I imagined it. 
Oh no, we were so close to 1,000. We were literally just 50 gold off. I was legit. I'm I'm getting good at this stuff. Oh no, wait, wait, wait. We already reached 2,000. Let's go. We, we did great. <gasps> Guys, I got a gold. I got a gold melon. Holy shit. That's amazing. I did not think I'd get a gold melon. Let's go. <laughs> okay, let's check our mail. I'm gathering d data between soil alkalinity and crop fructose levels. Long story short, except quest. Yeah, sure. You know, I don't actually mind because I literally just harvested a bunch of melons. So we're going to go sell one of these. Well, actually, we're gonna go to Demetrius and give him one of the melons. Uh, but before we do that, we need to go to the... We definitely need to go to the community center to check if that needs to be put somewhere. So I'm pretty sure melons was one of the crops that we needed to put in the community center. So I just want to make sure I don't miss it, you know? Because that would also be kind of bad for our economy growth. I rewater some plants so many times, oh my gosh. I really need to be more careful, but then again, it's like, mm, it's whatever, you know? Okay, let me just put in some water for my little baby. Then we should go to the community center first and to Demetrius afterwards. Uh, huh? What is this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, we're gonna go. Oh my gosh, it's 2022. Do I just realize that it literally just means 2022? <laughs> that was a long time ago, guys. It's been two years. Can't believe that, by the way. Genuinely. Why does she keep stopping? My keyboard is truly, like, completely gone. Which reminds me, I really should, um... Need tuna for a project that I'm working on. Uh, oh, it's locked. Wait. Oh, yeah, we do need to go to the community center for it, so it actually doesn't matter. God, all of these places look so happy. Okay, so we should go to the crop area. Because that's where we're gonna see if... Um... Okay, so this is not it. This was the foraging. Why do I always go to the wrong place? Like, there's seriously something wrong here you know oh i need five holy crap i do not have five. Oh my god definitely i do not have five well 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 we can just get back to wherever we were going right we're gonna go to demetrius but before that actually i think what i want to do um, that's kind of really quite urgent is go to the blacksmith and drop off my axe for an upgrade because I do have all this stuff and I desperately need that upgrade, you know. This old rusty axe needs to get a shiny new blade. One that you can truly call a good blade, if you know what I mean. Okay, now to find where the heck is that bridge. My god, my guy, who are you? Can I do anything for you? No, you're you're annoying. Don't talk to me. You terrible, terrible man with your terrible, terrible soul. Upgrade tools. Copper axe. Yes. Thank you. Okay, now to go to Demetrius because that's like the second most important thing. Tomorrow we'll get the axe back, which is just what we are hoping for. With uh, the copper axe being stronger, we should be able to get more stuff done with it. <laughs> okay, now to go to Demetrius. Oh, I keep doing that accidentally, go walking into the graveyard area without like realizing much of anything really. Well, it is quite funny for whatever, you know. Good reasons, it's hilarious. Find myself absolutely just horrifically hilarious <laughs> let's go to demetrius give him a melon we shall have completed our quest and we we shall have something upgrade money maybe hopefully something 
Ah, this is perfect. It's just what I need for my research. It's going to be hard not to eat it. Thanks a bunch. Well, that's great. Because, yay. I have 550. He gave me 550 gold for this? Holy shit. Dude, that's insane. I don't know where the mayor shorts are. Do we know where the mayor shorts are? Like, is there a specific place we gotta go to? That would tell us that, hey, the mayor shorts are there. Right there. Okay, I think what we can do is actually just, um, let's go to the mine, maybe. Let's give one to him. This is a great gift. Thank you. Well, you're welcome. Happy to give you a nice gift, you know. Although it's kind of just whatever to me, so. Okay, let's go to floor 50, see what happens. You know, we can do this. Oh. What's that? Oh, it's the crystals that are useless. Oh. Oh! Okay, it's gonna fly closer to me again. I'm gonna hit it again. Oh my god! Nice. We killed it! Let's go! Actually, let's get rid of this suit sprite first, you know? Nice! Uh, ooh! Okay! Cool! Wow, I haven't done that before, so that's interesting. We just keep getting stone. I don't really need stone. I need ore more, so I'm trying to figure out if there's any, like, ore somewhere. Omni Geode, what's that? What's an Omni Geode? Oh, let's go. Found the next room. What's in there? We can't go in there. That sucks. Man, I was had high hopes. Okay, we just keep getting a lot of stone and I'm really hoping that we... Oh, hey, yeah, let's go. Wow, why do they affect me even when they're so far away? What the heck? Okay, I escaped to the next one. Okay, 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 wait, why are there so many? Okay, when is that one gonna die? Oh my god, why do they have that much freaking health? Holy crap, dude. Did you guys see how much health they had? So insane. Oh my god, no. Oh, make it go away. Why are there so many bats and slimes and just various monsters that just should not exist, frankly? Oh, but I actually don't mind the combat that much. I'll have you know that much. Oh, there's more of them. Holy. Holy moly. Okay, it's 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 taking like so long to just show up in front of me, you know. Nice. Okay, now to kill the slime. Great. I just really need that. Okay, iron ore. Nice. Got it. Got it. Now to. 
holy crap wow they, they really do really love um being troublesome yay we got that one too let's go we got to floor 55 i think we can go back up i my goal was really just to get some to some of the floors faster than the other i think what i want to do next is fish a bit so that we can get some actual gains like monetary ones at least i say there is quite a few monetary gains but you know it's just not enough sometimes uh let's gift this person a tomato this is a super gift thank you yeah 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 no worries bro no worries like i just love a door what's a crystal fruit huh love giving gifts love giving things to people especially when they have no idea what to do with it yes eat the grape gotta mm. yeah right there let's let's fish let's fish fishy wishy oh my god there's something over there maybe fish maybe not fish i think we're gonna get something soon very soon oh oh my god what is that what's a river jelly guys i've never heard of that so uh i don't know how i feel about it Okay, okay, I think I can get this fish. Oh my god, let's go! I got the fish. What? Oh. Oh no. I'll take it, but I don't really have anything. No space for more stuff? This is terrible! I can only fish one fish and I'll have to leave because I don't have any space. I think the next big goal is getting a new backpack because like... Holy shit, it's never enough space, man. That sucks so much as well. It makes me kind of mad, not gonna lie. Yes. And I'll eat another one because I can. Yes, and then I'll pick this up because I really want it for some reason. Spice berry. I cannot move. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, you have added, hun. I'm just gonna go back home now. Because it's like getting later. And we can use up our energy by cutting and cleaning up some of my farmland. Because like, whoa. We really haven't been taking care of that. I'm just gonna use the sit and get rid of some of the grass because that's really the only thing I can do right now. Um, because I gave away my axe for an upgrade. Yeah, so we're just gonna clean up some grass. Holy shit, there is a lot of cleanup to be done. We have a really big farm. Holy, mo holy moly, that's a huge farm, guys. Wow, if you really utilize that properly, there is so much to be that you could do. Wait for my return on the dawn of your third year. What the f front door? Okay, cool. Um. Okay, Grandpa, I see. You want me to... You're gonna come back as a ghost or something like that, maybe? Gosh, Grandpa's spooky, you know? Okay, time for us to go back home, because that's enough cleaning up, you know? That was enough cleaning up, yeah, for sure, for sure. Listen, I'm satisfied with that progress. Now I'm gonna sell some of this, um, these, these. Um... Not that though. I don't know what the geode will give me. So I'm actually not going to sell that. But I will sell the chub. I want to keep the melon because it's going to be helpful. And I'll sell the hops. Yeah. 
That seems like a good uh, little mix of things that you should sell and not sell. And then, like, just before I go to sleep, I should clean up my area. Oh, wait, no. The copper iron and all of that stuff goes somewhere else. Here, in this furnace, we shall leave the copper iron ores and various burnt paranophilia that we have acquired through every single day. Let's go sleep. Oh, wow. Wait, 400... <gasps> The melon was 312 gold? What? I didn't realize that melons were that good. Holy moly! Do we have to go and pick up our axe? Can we not just... It, does he not deliver it to our house? Oh, hi Mew, okay. I'll spare you the technical. You know the empty cave you have over in the cliffs? Well, I have a way to turn it into something useful for both of us. I'd like to set up the cave to attract some local species. That way I can observe them in a more controlled environment. And you can harvest whatever products they produce. I can either set up the cave to attract mushrooms or fruit bats. The bats will sometimes leave fruit for you to collect. Uh, mushrooms. I don't like bats. Okay, cool. I don't mind either way. I have no idea what he's actually doing with it. Oh my god, corn! No. Let me harvest the corn. Oh my god. Is that another gold? It's not a gold star melon. Dang it! I was really looking forward to another gold star melon, man. Ah, uh, it is not what I thought. Do you guys see if there's something floating in the... Oh, is she still working on making that? Oh, is that what I've been hearing? Holy crap, I completely ignored her. Didn't I? Wait, how do I go and pick up my... Do not worry, kitten. I will come and give you your daily water and bread. Even though I myself don't really eat much here, you know. this one then this one then this one and this one Did we already water those i'm not sure so i'm just gonna water them again i'm gonna go give my my little pet kitten a bowl of water check in on what's her name and how she's faring Okay, cool. Under construction. Have fun, darling. You you seem like you're really having fun. I forgot to sell the bat wings. I just realized. Okay. Yeah. That's pretty good in my opinion. I'll leave the gold star corn here as well. And then let's go to the blacksmith's first. Because we really do quite desperately need that. Um, acts that I've been missing for the last like few days you know well for for like a day in this game so but anyways the axe is vitally important to our daily survival and work duh oh almost went the wrong way as always no, seriously though, how is it possible for me to keep going the wrong way over and over again by not realizing where I am? Oh! Sorry. It won't be ready today? How many days does he need to upgrade my axe? Isn't it just one day? Oh my god. No axe? Fine, I'll fish in the river instead. I'll poach your fish! So that you don't have fish to eat. Terrible human. Who didn't give me my axe back? I had plans to clean up my farm today. This strawberry tea is... Getting bitter. 
I wonder what's up with that. Oh, it's, it's quite bitter, actually. Made me cringe a bit. Tastes like very strong tea. I forgot that this happens if you leave it for too long. Oh my god, I got a rainbow trout, guys! How exciting is that? Plenty, I tell you. Yeah. Picked up the fallen coaster as well since I, you know, cannot just leave it on the floor. It's quite warm again today. Ah. Uh, You know, like, it's been really, really, really hot the last few days. And I really, really, really want to just splay on completely a cool piece of something. I don't know what, though. I started rereading Cultivation Chat Group. Don't ask me why. I was just really bored. Didn't have my phone today because it went for repairs. So I was on my iPad reading Cultivation Chat Group. And oh my, like, seriously, the book is so funny. And now that I'm rereading it, I feel like, oh my god, yeah, the, the, like, if you, if you don't reread, you definitely won't realize that there's so many, like, places where the author already set up this, like, funny situation that you would discover later. And I was like, wow, that's so clever. <laughs> the author really knows what they're doing. Because, okay, last, last night I was catching up on, on the book after like so many days right almost a month or so maybe less than a month but anyways so i decided i was gonna catch up on the book so i sat down i started reading there was about like 80 or something chapters that i had to get through and i say get through in a good way like i was really happy while reading it i was just like oh my god i am just so delighted by this because it's a hilarious book completely off the off the hook completely bonkers makes me laugh every single time i keep telling everyone i know who reads books to read it because it's just so funny and oh it just does make me feel way better like i books are one of the easiest ways that i feel better in life so i'm like if i ever feel like really annoyed and like i'm having a bad day my usual go to pick me up is reading a book or eating good food right and like listening to music definitely comes in very very close to both of those things because i really really like all of those things and they all make me very happy so like listening to music eating good food and reading books is like my three things that will for sure 100 percent somehow find a find a way to cheer me up and genuinely it was so funny the book literally just made me laugh for like two hours straight and that was because i i couldn't stop laughing for 20 minutes so i had to take a pause from the book to keep laughing um it was great i loved it it was so much fun i've gotten better at fishing haven't i guys i'm getting great at this <laughs> oh wow another hit wow is this just the is the success rate of my fishing that high No! No, you feisty fish, I shall not let you go. Don't you dare escape my grasp. Ah, it's another rainbow trout. Hey, what's that? A golden tag? What's the trout derby? What's the trout derby, guys? I don't know what that is. Huh. Huh. I don't know what that is. We shall not know what that is. <laughs> oh my god, this is so much fun though. This is such a nice like way to spend time in this game. Holy shit, I might have just become a fishing addict. I definitely am not interested in fishing in real life, but like, oh my god, in games it's so cute and fun, so relaxing, what an activity. Although the fishing mini games really do piss me off because they're usually quite difficult. But then again, they have to like simulate the difficulty of real life fishing in some way, right? Real life fishing is, as I've heard before, tedious on some level. Yeah, we got it! It's another rainbow trout. Nice! Uh, oh, do we get a silver one this time? Oh, wow, wow, wow. Are we just getting a lot of fish? Is it that one? Is it that day where you just get a lot of fish? Oh my god, this fish is so feisty. Hello. Hello. I think I'm gonna miss this one. Nope, I missed it, yeah. 
it was too much for me. I couldn't have managed to control the whatever was happening with the fish. I wish there was a better way. Like if the slider wasn't controlled by your click amount and strength. Like that would be helpful. Like you have to keep clicking and unclicking and clicking and unclicking with like how much the fish is moving, right? And I'm not the best at doing that because it's like... It requires a lot of thinking and I don't like that anyways, so... Yeah... Ah! It's okay, you guys understand, right? I got driftwood, what do I do with that? <laughs> what would I even do with driftwood? Oh my gosh! Fishing, fishing, fish, fish, fishing. Well, it's a lazy summer afternoon where we're fishing for the fish in the room. So lazy. Nope, lost that one. I overestimated my control, which I usually do, but that's besides the point, guys, right? Like, everyone knows that I'm really bad at controlling this. Sometimes I just... Well, not sometimes. Most of the time, it's like, because those fish are really relatively calmer than any of the more rowdy ones. So, it works out somehow, but... Dang. I'm getting sleepy already. What's up with that? I have to stay awake today, again. See, I don't think I'm getting enough sleep, which is fine for a while, but it's not a... You got some new ideas to sleep on? Wait, did my fishing level up? Wait, did my fishing level up? Oh my god, that would be so good. Oh my god, I literally need that so much. <gasps> fishing level up! What? <laughs> Still can't believe my fish isn't ready though. We might go to the communi community center after this. Just the last fish, okay? And then we get to the community center because it's like, I do need to. Oh my god. Oh god, this fish is just so annoying. Wow. I'm still managing somehow for a bit, but... Oh my god, please just stay. Please just stay. Oh god, no. I can do it! I can do it! Wait! No! 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 Let me have you! It's gone. It's gone. I'm not gonna bother. Okay, whatever. Last fish is done. We're not gonna go fishing for any longer. We're gonna go to the community center, see if we got any of the fish that I have to drop off. Again, I walked into the graveyard. Maybe the graveyard is just calling my name. Like, Mew! Mew, come visit us! We miss you, Mew! But I don't know anyone at this graveyard, so to speak, so... Actually, it'd be kind of weird if they did say that. It'd be like, how do you know me? I, do I don't know you, though. Like, unfortunate, but true. I was literally going in the completely wrong direction. Passing by this glorious community center that literally looks so sad, but that's besides the point. Um, sturgeon, I do not have. River fish, did I get tiger trout or catfish? No, I did not. Ocean fish, I don't have any of those. <laughs> Oh my. Don't have those. Oh my god. Wait, no. Oh, I thought I got one of those, but I didn't. So all of these fish that I did get, they're kind of not necessary for this. That right? I thought that this would be part of the rainbow fish, well, river fish one. So what does the rainbow trout do? Where is it from? Why do I need to... Can I not put it here? I found sunfish, but not tiger trout. Mm. That's annoying. Do I have to level up my fishing or like, do I have to buy more uh, fishing rods to get any of those? Is that what it is? Huh. Oh well, this is kind of sad, no? 
One largemouth bass. I don't have the skills, sorry. Where do you even find that one? Because uh, I don't know, so... Huh. Did you guys see that? Did you guys see that? I swear, I wasn't the only one who saw that, right? There was somebody there who like hid or something. Holy crap, what are they? Why are they trying to be sneaky? Okay, let's just sell all of these fish for us because I don't really know what else to do with them. Other than selling them to make money. So, yeah. Well, this is sad because I was hoping that like with this, we could maybe, you know, do something with it. But really, nothing's possible. Okay, well, there's nothing I can do anymore for now. Just clean up a little, right? More little cleaning up. I don't have a lot of energy, but I have enough to clean up a little bit of this really annoying grass. I do think this grass is useful, but like not in this manner. Like I don't even know what you're supposed to do with all of this grass. Like I know grass is useful, but just like not really how it's useful. You know what I mean? Okay, I'm kind of stuck. There's really nowhere else for me to go. Huh. Okay. Can't do much else because that's all the grass there was, really. Okay, nice. Now we can drop all of this off. What's those? Oh, mixed flower seeds. That's cool. Okay, I think what we should do is just go to sleep. Because there's not, not much else, you know? Yeah, sleep for the night. Yay! Recycling machine, warm bin, and deluxe bait. Let's go! Oh my god, the melons are so good. Holy shit. Ah, we got so much! The four rainbow fish... The four sunfish gave me a lot, actually. Oh, the rainbow trout is way more expensive than the sunfish. Well, I feel like that one should have been obvious. But it kind of wasn't, if I'm being honest, so. Oh my god, day 22 of summer. Summer's almost coming to an end, though. Wow. It's, it's almost over. <laughs> Holy. Yay! We, we, we have a... We have a... Oh my god, let's go! Uh... Okay, first, we gotta water all of our plants. That's the most important thing. You know, always, always water first. Everything else later. And then, you know, we gotta you get the most uh, that we can out of all of these. Okay, nice. Nice. Let's water. Then we'll go pick up our axe soon. But before we do that, we gotta water the watering bowl okay i pet my cat nice now to put some stuff in the selling bin because yeah i think we can just put in the hops and the i don't think we need the blueberries right guys well i'll keep them just for now because i don't really know what to do with them I still don't know what the trout derby thing is, so I'm just gonna leave it like that. 
um... And then drop off the well, wood as well. Okay, now to go pick up our axe, because, you know, that's really, really important. We desperately need that axe back. I really want to clean up some of the wood on my property so that I can be a little bit more organized. But mostly because it's like really looks all the way everywhere, you know. I think I also want to purchase some seeds, maybe. Is there anyone's... Is there anyone's... Bookseller. Bookseller. Oh, there was a... Oh, the Trout Derby was these two days. And I completely missed it. Wow. Um, I didn't even know that was a thing. Completely did not realize, guys. It's fine, right? Though... What does the bookseller do? What 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 is the thing with the bookseller? Where do I even... Go for the bookseller? Luz tells me your tomatoes have ripened. That's great news. Just imagine what the culinary world would be like without tomatoes. That's that's true. You're right. The culinary, culinary world would be quite very sad without tomatoes. So, you know, tomatoes have a lot of flavor. I personally don't like to eat them raw or in big chunks. But I think they're really good in soups and uh, stews and stuff like that. They do go... They do go crazy, you know? I think what I will get are corn seeds. Uh, and then, let's see. I do want a sapling at some point, you know? Ah. Uh. Ah, uh, when will I be able to get saplings? Can I buy the recipe for the grass starter right now? Did I even buy sunflowers? Oh, I don't have enough to make it make make it make a difference, you know. Oh, the wheat is harvested with the site. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I remember that. The melons are very well producing. Ten thousand gold. Not now. Okay. 10,000 gold. I do not have the money for 10,000 gold. But I shall try. Maybe not today, but sometime soon, you know? Okay, let's go. Let's go to, over to the blacksmith so we can pick up our axe. That'd be good. Yay, we got the axe. Let's go. Woohoo! I think, yeah, now we go back to our farm and oh, cut up some trees. Because, you know, they're kind of taking over my farm and I really can't be having that. Like, no matter what anyone says, it's just not gonna work out for a very long time that way. Why am I so sleepy? It's literally only 10 p.m. To be fair though, I did have to stay awake till like for quite a while. And then when I went to sleep, it was already close to 12 p.m. And I only slept for like five, six hours. So I'm not that surprised. I'm just like, oh gosh, I really had a bunch to do. You can never be sure of that stuff. Is it faster? I don't think it's faster though. It's really not being that much faster. Maybe it gives us more wood or something. Who knows? I'm gonna cut these ones up because they're kind of blocking my view of this little watering hole thing. And that's no fun, you know? Oh my god, can we get hardwood now? We can! Oh my god, dude, I'm so excited. That means we can finish one of the very important, like, bundles that I've been trying to finish for ages. Holy crap. Let's go! Happy! 
Happy, happy, happy. Whoa. Oh, my... Yeah, okay, cool. That's fine. I'm okay with that. As long as we can break some of the logs, you know? Also, this one. It's in my way. We must cut this down. I'm sorry, but it's just how it's going to be. It's inevitable. You know what I mean? We gotta use up our energy for the day as well. It might be only, like, quite nearly early in the day, but... We must. We must persevere, guys. Oh my god. Oh my god, I might be able to get enough hardwood for whatever it is that I need, really need it for. The community center. I am insane. I feel insane. Oh my god. We needed 10 hardwood for it. What do you even use hardwood for, though? I don't get it. Let's just clean these up, then we'll go to the community center. I'm gonna eat a blueberry, that should give me a temporary increase in... ...in like, the thing. Oh, I'm so excited! Oh, hardwood means we can finally finish that community center! bundle that i've been waiting for ages to finish uh, it was a construction materials one i believe i'm actually really happy with the way that that turned out i didn't realize that with the copper one you could break up the bigger um chunks that were left over i just thought that wouldn't happen for a while but it did holy crap i'm so happy hi ramon Field research. I had a job, guys. Oh my god. I'm just... I really forget these, huh? Okay. Fodder. Wheat, hay, apple. Chef's bundle. Maple syrup, fiddlehead, corn, and all of these. I don't have any of that. Ah. Uh -huh. Well, the field research bundle is still doable, but the other ones definitely are out of my reach as of right now. Um, is the, was it not the boiler's room that had that? Was it a different place? Ah, this is the one where you just pay money. To win you know that one when i first did it really pissed me off i was just like how could they do this i i feel like i've been cheated huh huh it really felt like that by the way i still feel like that i can't believe i spent so much money on nothing oh construction found it let's go bundle complete wow Oh, charcoal kiln. Okay, cool. That's nice. Okay, the Junimo is going. The Junimo is going. Let's follow it. It's going very slowly, by the way. Oh my gosh. Holy crap, that is so slow. Darling, just go in, please. That's- that's- you're taking forever. I don't have the patience to wait that long. I think something will happen at night today, right? When I'm sleeping. But yeah, we did it! Oh my god, I'm so proud of us, guys. Holy crap, that was- that took forever to do. I've been waiting to finish that construction bundle for so long. I'm so glad it's finally done. That makes me very happy. Happy. Ha 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 ha. And now I think what I want to do is maybe sleep. In game, by the way. I don't mean IRL, although that would also be nice. I might contemplate taking a nap so that I can... 
Yeah. Yes, it's only 5 p.m. but sleeping is great. What's that? What is that? Who's dropping off all of this stuff? Who are you? Mystery boxes can now be found. What are mystery boxes? I didn't know this was a thing. Oh my god. Okay, mystery boxes. That's fun. Oh my god. That's so wild though. Didn't know that was a thing, by the way. I completely just didn't know that mystery boxes were a thing. Holy crap, that's so cool though. Mystery boxes. Man! I really didn't know that was a thing. I... I... Oh my god. Mystery boxes, huh? Huh? Dang, I really don't know how I feel about all of that. Mystery boxes. Okay, I'm out of water now. I'll just fill it up since I can actually do that. Um. Okay, now actually, you know what? Let's go towards the... Let's go to the mine today. I feel really good about that right now. I can't believe we haven't had any green rain yet, which so sad because i've been really looking forward to it oh wait before we go to the mine we gotta empty all of our inventory out so that you know it doesn't defeat this purpose if you know what i mean wow i'm so happy guys oh my gosh I'll keep these, but I'll leave everything else behind because I don't know what to do with it. I was gonna mine, but now I kind of don't want to. I want to do something else. You know what? No, we gotta go to the mines. It's very important. Gotta find the end. Actually, uh, before we do that, I want to see what's going on here. Oh my god, I really didn't know that this was here. I completely forgot. Oh. What do we get after we dehydrate mushrooms? I don't know, so... We will see. How many levels does the mine have? I genuinely don't know, though. How long does the dehydrator take? Oh my god. Wonder what the dehydrated mushrooms will give. I wonder why I put it in without like any hesitation. I was just like, oh, this is there. What, do, what does it do? And then just did that. Can't believe myself. I've been yawning for a while. I didn't tell you guys about what was happening while my phone was getting repaired, right? So they, they did some shoddy job with the repair. So it had to go get repaired again today. And while that was happening, I just didn't have my phone the whole day. Which is also one of the reasons why I was able to sleep so peacefully. 
but then i also woke up a bunch of times because i was just like oh my god what time is it because I, i kept being really worried that oh my i would wake up after stream time was supposed to start so i was just like oh no what if you know what if that happens and it would be it would be terrible so i just yeah it would be just terrible but i uh, wow how is it already april can you guys believe it like it's almost april like literally tomorrow's april it's going to be april in approximately an hour and 40 minutes it's really hot here my room is becoming warmer randomly even though is the ac and the air the ceiling fan are both turned on why is it warm bro i even used the remote for for to like put the temperature even lower than before which i normally don't do cuz i just don't care i'm like it's fine whatever the temperature is but i did that yesterday well actually this morning cuz i was like it's so hot i should like fix up the temperature right didn't work it's kind of warmer squirrels the fact that there are squirrels in this game is crazy man i don't know eat it what are blueberries for dang these people are so mean what do you not want to share blueberries do you not want to eat some delicious blueberries berry blues okay 55 oh oh my god it's a ghost guys it's a ghost i don't know what you're supposed to do with that not that i'm scared of the ghost but i just don't know if we're actually going to be able to defeat it or not wow that is taking forever Ah, uh, it bounces slow, slowly. Wow. Okay. Okay. Well, well, it's getting closer. Ouch. Okay. Wow. This ghost is taking forever to to get rid of. What the heck? Why isn't it dying? Was that a second one? Okay. Yeah. Uh. Oh my god, even when I Wow, now I'm only doing like one damage. Oh my god, wow. Oh, so it kind of like teleports to where you were before, is that right? Come on, ghosty, just die. Oh, it finally is dead. Oh, that's how you get solar essence. I see. I have learned. What do these suit sprites things do to you? Oh my god, that's so much damage, guys. Guys, look at the amount of damage I'm doing. Holy crap, that was fun. That was fun. Getting rid of all of them was quite fun, I think. Let's see if we can get a ladder over here. If not, then um Oh, that's also fine. It's really not that big of a deal, you know? I'm hoping to get some iron ore cuz like I really desperately do need it. Cuz it's quite valuable if you know what I mean. Frozen geode. Okay, cool. That's that's nice. Oh, hey, nice. Perfect. Oh, there's so many of them. Oh, 
Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. No, this is my ideal amount of... Oh! No, that's the wrong place. I'm dead. Oh, no, I'm, I'm kind of dead. Uh... Should I just eat a blueberry? I'm gonna eat a blueberry, guys. Hopefully, that will help. That's the wrong... Um... Ap apparatus for this. Holy crap. Okay, I'm getting I'm getting really really good at fighting these. Oh. Yes, indeed I am. Okay, I just want to make sure I'm not really missing any Oh, there are two ladders. Okay, I ran away from the slime because I all all I wanted was just Oh, well that's another one. That's that's nice. Got three iron ore. <gasps> What's that? Amethyst? It is! Oh, fantastic. Fantastic. That's really, really good. Oh my god. No. Okay, nice, nice, nice. We killed it. We killed it. I was I was really wondering if you were gonna be able to kill that one or not. I was really hoping that we would. Oh. Oh no. Oh, this is not good. We're gonna have to fight multiple of them now. Okay, they're, they're gonna come in from everywhere. We, we're going through a monster horde. Okay, more of them? Holy crap! Okay, okay, no more, no more, no more, no more, no more. Come on, come on, come on. crap wow that was a lot of them now that's the last one right nice uh, that was really good wow we got that done really quick oh that was just quartz i thought it was going to be something more valuable like iron ore we do really need iron ore now because like um that's the next big thing i think that we need to really really get Oh, cool. Um, interesting. This came out of nowhere though. Just wasn't expecting to find it. Oh, found it. Okay. Are we gonna be able to kill it fast? I hope. Gosh. Ugh, oh, these bats are so annoying. They really do get me annoyed. Even more, because, like, they're just kind of troublesome for no reason. Oh. Oh, there's so many of them. Holy crap. First of all, that ghost. We gotta kill it, you know? Slowly, but surely, we must. Holy crap, those ghosts really do come out of nowhere though. Like, I have no idea wh what they're supposed to do and what you achieve by killing them. Other than getting solar essence. But I think that one should be a rare-ish drop, not like a, oh, this is the drop that you would get no matter what kind of situation. Okay. Here's to hoping we kill this one. Oh, before it kills us, you know. Oh no! Oh no 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 no! No 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 no! Holy shit. 
Oh my gosh. Oh, I might die. 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 Leave the mine. Leave the mine. We gotta go, dude. Oh, my health is literally in shambles. Yes, eat the blueberry. We need to go home before we pass out in the middle of nowhere, you know? Oh, I almost forgot about the time. I completely lost any sense of the time, guys. <gasps> That's not good, though. That's not good. We need to get home before we pass out. Oh, 1 a.m. <laughs> We're too close. We're so close. We can get home in time, right? I really don't want to lose all of my stuff that I just collected so difficult. <coughs> okay, I think we got home just in time, actually. Made it. Let's go. Yes. Go to sleep for the night. We made it. We made it. We made it. I'm so proud of us. Oh my gosh. Okay, for now, I think what I really want to do is... Well, one, you know pick this up whatever it's whatever's in the mailbox greetings Mew. it is our pleasure to inform you that your farm will be featured in next week's up and coming column with the stardew valley tribune congratulations we're impressed with your quick progress oh wow i didn't even know that was a thing i didn't know you could get oh my inventory is full let's just drop some stuff off shall we bat wings and amethyst Wait, let me pick up the amethyst, actually. I'll put that all together with the... Uh, there, where all of my... Things stay. Solar essence and uh, tomatoes and stuff. Just leave them there. Whatever, man. I don't know what you'd really do with the tomatoes, frankly. Oh, I really hope we got some gold star ones. <gasps> We have five gold stars. Guys, guys, guys. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We might... Oh god. Wow. I'm so impressed with that. Oops. I almost tore down the hops. That would have been terrible. Horrible. Just terrible for our economy. Terrible for our progress. I've been getting some consistent income from the hops, so I'm actually really glad. But we have five star melons, five gold star melons. Um, we can put that in the community bundle. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, this makes me so excited. Wow. Community bundle. Ha 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 ha. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, first of all, I'm actually also gonna pick up the solar essence and the frozen tear. And, um,. Well, let's go to the... Get that last... Uh, no, wait, what did I pick up? Hmm. Oh, we have a gold star hops as well. That's really, really good, though. We need to pick this up. Um, I'll sell the rest at some point, so it's whatever, but yeah. Wait, let me sell these first, actually. So the grapes, the hops, the bat wings, the tomato, and the hot peppers. And pick up those three melons, because I really don't know what else you do with them. And then I'll sell those as well, because melons really do give you a lot of money. Which is just so good. And now, let us head on over. Wait, before I go to the community center, I gotta give my baby kitty soup water. I already watered her bowl. Wow. I didn't realize I'd already... I'd already watered her water bowl. Dang, I'm a very good kitten care parent. Oh, I'm so happy. We're gonna be done with more um, community bundles soon. Wow, I'm so happy. Yay, this is great. I'm so glad. Oh, I was just so worried that we wouldn't be able to finish some of them because I was like, oh, I just... You know, some of my decision making uh, in this game hasn't been the most, like, helpful or sound. So I was like, oh, what if, what if we actually end up not being able to do some of the bundles because I made stupid decisions before that? Mm. Nuh-uh. 
like look at us now guys look at us now first of all go to the boiler room so we can like drop the mining stuff the solar essence and the frozen deer i think geologists oh we already put in oh no we don't need to put in solar essence we need to put in fire cords this is the second time i've done that by the way this isn't even the first time i bet that holy crap i always keep doing that huh my bad anyways the melons at least right that's exciting no that that one's unnecessary that one's just a pay to win category of this whole community center which i think is really hilarious for obvious reasons duh but you know still winter foraging exotic oh i keep getting the wrong places i keep going to the wrong places oh my god quality crops we have five gold star melons. We need pumpkins and corn. Nice. Orange, apple, apricot, peach, blah, 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 whatever. Who cares about that? Am I right? Hmm. Oh, wait. I didn't know that I could put corn here. I would have already done that. Dang, my bad. Oh, well. Now that we know, at least we'll make sure to do it. Okay, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go to the... Let's go fish, actually. I feel like up to fishing again all of a sudden. Let's fish over here. It seems like a nice place to fish. I don't know if it's actually a good place to fish or not, though, guys. I just sort of felt it. I missed my chance to get a hit. Dang it. Hit. Oh, wow. That was really quite quick. Perfect. Let's go. A sunfish. Nice. Wow, that was a pretty good... That was a pretty good throw in. I have gotten way better at this, huh? Let's go another. Oh, it's a rainbow trout. Let's go. Rainbow trouts are very, very good. I realized after I got so much money for selling them. I was just like, wow, th this is really quite luc lucrative, huh? Like, I can make so much money off of this. <coughs> I'm gonna fish here. I don't know if this is a good spot or not, but I'm gonna hope for the best. I didn't realize there was a waterfall here though. Wow, that's sad. No, my fishing! Don't interrupt my fishing, please! Oh, I don't even have that much energy. Dang. Didn't think that through, huh? I hope this doesn't mean that I won't get any fish Cause I really want fish I'm fishing for a reason Cause the fish sell good And in this game You need a lot of money no matter if you think you're funny Money stocks <laughs> What am I even saying anymore? Wow, perfect! Uh, I hope that gives me more EXP for the fishing though Like if you do many perfect like Fish up the fish perfectly then does that make so that you can get more exp from fishing for leveling up your fishing skills you know because i do want to level them up because you know the green bar becomes bigger and that means like there's less chance of failure and that's always good wow another perfect one what am i literally just popping off guys 
I'm so good at this. Ha ha ha. Oh, this is this is a rowdy one. Oh, nope. I'm missing it. I press too hard. You know, like my sometimes my problem is that I press really quickly, but then don't realize what's going on. So I'm like actually hurting myself than helping anyone. So yeah, learned my lesson though. I'm this is the last fish because we're literally almost out of energy. Might as well go back and spend the rest of the day doing something else. Maybe walking around. Start you, Ali. Nice! Uh, let's go, got another sunfish. That's the last fish for today. I don't think we should fish anymore in case, you know, we end up um, dying. Passing out due to the lack of energy because we didn't... We, we you know, we, we, we don't know how to gauge our own energy levels. We're, we're kind of stupid, I guess. Oh, hey, what do they want us to do? No, that's not what I mean. I want to check the... Aquamarine. What's aquamarine? Is that like a geode or something? It probably is. Well, it I don't have it, so I'm just gonna ignore Sam. Yep. It works out. I think it, it sounds great, you know? I really wanna read. <laughs> it's because I was reading, um... One of my favorite books, right? So I just all I want to do is just keep reading because it's just so much more, so much fun. Ah, I really love reading, guys. Actually, let's go inside see if we have more stuff. Dried common mushrooms. Just oh, requires five pieces. Oh, I see. Uh, no, 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 no. Is there anything happening for these boxes? What do you do with those boxes? Okay, well, not much, uh, clearly. Yars! Let's clean those grass up by just... Just waving around our... I'm gonna sell those fish, man. I have to sell those fish, actually. I don't really have a choice. I don't know what you'd do with them if you kept them. Because I've already have all the... All of those. Inside my community bundle, you know? Although I still don't understand, like, the, you basically just give the fish the offerings and they sort of just do their thing, right? And I just, well, give the Junimos the offering and then they do the thing, but like, I just think that's so mean of them, because it's like, wow, I I'm, was willing to do more for you, but you don't want it, huh? It's kind of rude. Can't imagine. Can't imagine what people would say. About you if they heard that you were like this. Can you imagine what they would say about you if you if they knew that you were like this? I'm making not much sense, but that's just because I'm getting increasingly sleepier. Holy crap, I didn't realize I could be this sleepy all of a sudden. I'm gonna sell the chanterelle. And the dried... Mm, dried... No, wait. I won't sell the dried common mushrooms. But I will sell all of those. Except for the hops. The hops are valuable. So... I should keep them. Yeah. I do need a lot of slime. So I'll save the slime as well. For the community center bundle. 100 slime. So... That's... That's... I don't have enough. Huh. I don't know what I'm doing with the gold star hops and the such because I really don't have any specific plans for it, but I want to keep it just in case, you know. I don't know what the just in case is in this context, by the way. Wow, 
I got a hundred, one thousand eight hundred and seventy-one gold. I said a hundred and, and I was gonna be like, nah, that's not right. That's definitely not right. Oh my gosh, I'm being dumb. That's definitely not right. <laughs> Should we send another? Um, I feel like stopping actually. Um, hmm. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna stop. That's enough. That's enough. We explored quite a bit. There's a lot of stuff that I saw. A lot of stuff I definitely didn't. Probably will continue this soon. Um, well, not the, the next week because I already released next week's schedule and i don't really remember if um stardew valley was on it or not oh it is okay next week yeah next week we'll play stardew valley again because that's fun <laughs> i yeah i sound so unsure oh my gosh but yeah oh that was fun oh my god i'm so glad that we played stardew valley that has been really relaxing quite very much fun very exciting to try out the new update and realize oh my god it really has stuff going for it like i do think that whatever upgrades that concerned ape has made are gonna be really cool because i heard stuff like drinking mayonnaise and i was just like huh what do you mean drinking mayonnaise what are you gonna do with this said mayonnaise drink it you're you're disgusting but maybe you're on to something. Maybe it's like the ultimate power portion, you know? Apparently it does give you a lot of energy, so that's good. I'm glad we leveled up fishing as well. Went mining um, went up to the 55th floor. Uh, maybe even further, actually. We did go further. We just didn't get to the 60th floor, which I really wanted to do at the same time. But it's fine because it's actually not that big of a deal, I think. But yeah, that was also really fun. Overall, today has been very, 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 very good. I am glad. And I'm actually gonna change my overlay to my chatting one because, wow, I, I literally look so tiny in the gaming overlay. But, you know, cute tiny. Ha ha! <laughs> but I'm really, really happy we played it. I'm so glad. I really like Stardew Valley now. I can't play it like 24-7. I don't think I have the energy for it, but it's a fun game. Um, it's really cute. It has so much personality and so much stuff is always happening for it. And oh my god, it's going to be uh, 11 p.m. soon. <coughs> I really want to take a nap before I have to wake up in the middle of the night to record stuff. Or even if I don't take a nap, I do want to... You know just like rest my eyes for a bit i mean that genuinely by the way i really am trying to not take a nap so that i don't accidentally fall asleep but then again if i sleep a little bit right now i won't fall asleep in my meeting in the morning and you'd be like oh my gosh Mew, you you've been having so many meetings lately and i'd say exactly i have no other reply by the way i just have been having a bunch of meetings every now and like literally the last few weeks have been really busy especially since march was just a lot and april has proved that it might not be less as like yeah basically i have a lot of stuff going on work wise lots of uh projects and things that we've been planning for a while and then stuff that we want to release and uh, especially since welcome to the universe is gonna be released soon and so yeah i'm really excited about that by the way i the release date is going to be released soon you guys know that it's gonna release in april but i have we, we decided to hold off on talking about when exactly it's going to be released for a lot of reasons which i'm not going to reveal right now but like yeah there's a cover release tomorrow i hope you guys enjoy it's a surprise cover i was i was hoping to do something for april fools so i i did what i thought would work the best <laughs> Which I hope will be really funny and I hope you guys will like like the humor that went into it. <laughs> but yeah, that's it though. Don't have much else to talk about. Today was interesting because when my relatives came, they really only came for 10 minutes and only to really talk to my mom, not me or my sister. So we just sort of sat there being like, oh yeah, yeah, just nodding. And then I fell asleep. 
literally immediately after. Fell asleep. And when I woke up, it was already like 5 p.m. ish. And I went outside to get something to eat. My sister was like, how long have you been awake? And I was like, I literally just woke up. And she was like, yeah, I also just woke up. But I don't didn't have my phone, so I couldn't really do much. So I ended up just being like, okay, cool. Like, I'm going to just sit around, do nothing for a bit. It was very pleasant. It was very, like, chill. Um, watched a random, like, vlog of somebody cooking with the uh, lake seaweed moss things. Anyways, apparently it looked like, well, it looked really good. And all the food that the lady made looked really, really good. Holy shit. But I was just like, wow, why didn't you use it? Like a seaweed, like a piece of nori or something. And just like put it, put put fillings in it. Um, whatever reason they didn't decide to do that. But uh, who am I to say anything about it? I'm not like I'm the one who's eating all of this food. It's... Oh my gosh, I just seriously still can't believe it's already going to be April. Like, I... Time is moving by so fast. I'm happy, but I'm also like, wow, wow, I'm surprised. How is it already April? It's, it's, it's really... It just feels like May has barely begun. Well, March. March barely began before April already showed its face. Which I'm honestly quite okay with. Because I've been looking forward to April, May, and June, and July, and whatnot. <sighs> I'm really happy, guys. I'm glad you guys are here to share all of this fun stuff with me. And also, wow, my eyes are, like, slowly closing. So slowly that it's not very obvious, but I can feel a sort of vague instinct to just close my eyes and fall asleep you know a few days ago i noticed how like sometimes when i don't wipe my glasses properly because i do wear glasses normally mm, i feel like i can't see extra like normally when my glasses are like all clean and stuff they're not not ever that clean which I feel like anyone who wears glasses would say that they can't keep them clean for long because there's like so much dust and debris that's floating around in the air that gets stuck to your lenses. And so you're just like, I have to keep wiping them. And who's going to keep wiping them? It's just too much work, you know? And so I was just like, I'm going to be lazy and I only wipe them once or twice a day when they really get very, very bad. But, you know, you're supposed to wipe them a bunch of times so that you can have clear vision all the time. And that way your like, uh, vision doesn't get even worse than before. Um... But yeah, I was just like, wow, I, I think I really want to get, like, eye surgery so that my vision can be fixed. I don't mind wearing glasses, it's just that um, the amount that my vision is worsening at, it, it would be more better, it would be easier to just get LASIK or something like that done, you know? But apparently you're not supposed to get them done until you're, like, 21 at least. So I'm gonna wait for like at least another year or so. Maybe next year I can contemplate getting it done because it seems like I would want to get it done in Korea though. Because like Korea has the best like uh, laser eye surgery sort of. I saw somebody get it done. What I saw is a is a bit of a leap. I know somebody who got it done in Korea. And they did say that it's very fast there. Like, you get the surgery done and the recovery is almost in instantaneous. Like, they're obviously, you know, still going for the high-end materials and whatnot. So I was just thinking, like, oh, if I want to get it done, then I might as well go somewhere where I know it's going to be the most convenient and fast. So, like, checking in, getting all the, like, the testing done and then getting the surgery. And then, like, literally half an hour after the surgery is done, you can apparently take off all the bandages and it'll be all fine i'm like either they're magicians they're doing something crazy crazy um but yeah i do want to get my eyes checked out more though i feel like my light sensitivity has gotten even more worse or maybe better at this point i don't know because i haven't been outside in the light that often and all the lights that i've been been in are have been like artificial lights that stay inside the house and they stay inside like they stay on for quite a a long time every single day so i should definitely get my eyes checked out i've been so busy that it's been a lot of work basically 
lots of things have been just sort of pending and like you know hanging above my head stuff i have to get done you know irl personal stuff not work stuff because work stuff i'm still quite good about but irl stuff that i can avoid i will avoid <laughs> Uh, saw someone talking about how difficult it is to have energy to do stuff for yourself and i really agree with that like it's kind of random but it's just so hard to muster up the energy to do things for yourself but then when you do them you do feel better not gonna lie like when you do the things that make you like you know promote your overall health and well-being you do feel better so it's like might as well take the time to do it invest yourself in yourself it's more valuable that way <clears throat> i was looking up oh my gosh wait i have to tell you guys about this because i was looking up what i wanted for my next pc setup and i was like oh what kind of like headset and i said well, it's xyz yada 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 do you do i want and i really really want the logic logitech g aurora collection because like the mouse is smaller than normal mice my hands are, are comically small guys i my hands are the smallest hands that i've ever seen in, on people like they don't look like child hands, child hands, like, they're not obviously from a child, because I'm not. But also, like, when I put my hand against other people's, it's almost always smaller than their hands. So it's kind of, like, a little bit ridiculous. And it also makes it so that it's hard for me to use the mouse as, like, very dexter- de with a lot of dexterity, because my hands are so ridiculously small, I don't even, like, can't even hold the whole mouse like i have to like sort of adjust my position in a way that would be able to still reach the buttons and press them with accuracy but also be able to rest my wrist on the table and i was like oh my god is there a collection or like is there a company that does mice specifically make them a smaller size hi you are not late because we're still <laughs> i'm still here but i have stopped playing for today because i was just yeah, hi Exo. I'm good, how are you? Nothing much is up. I was just talking about what I want for my next streaming situation. Well, I'm talking about my like next PC setup, all the peripherals, and I was just thinking about what kind of peripherals I'd want. Um, I've landed on the Logitech G Aurora collection. Because, okay, first of all, they all look visually so good, so cute, adorable. I want it all, you know? Because it's like really cute pink and white setups. Like, I don't really care much for the white, but I do love pink and I feel like I'm quite like obvious about it. And the mostly it's the mouse that really attracts me. And I really want the mouse and the distress. I'm still okay with using some other random keyboard because it doesn't matter to me that much. But I couldn't find uh, any place that was selling just the mouse and just the distress. So there was like this bundle I saw that was on discount somewhere. I haven't bought it, obviously. I just put it in my cart and I was like, I'm going to ruminate on this because it's not like I'm going to buy my new setup right now. I'm going to be going, like moving, and then I'm going to buy all of the stuff. But, like whenever I'm moving, I'll go like, you know, order everything so I can like chill and just have things set up slowly. But slowly is, is a relative word. I want to get it done in maximum a week. Because I would be like, need a week to move, right? But then I'd also need a week to get all of this stuff uh, assembled and, and whatnot. And so I was just like, oh, what do I really want from this? And I was like, estimating the cost. And it was close to like, $2,500 for like, all the the monitor, the, the chassis, all the components of the PC and all the peripherals included. And I was just like, dang, that's a lot of money. <laughs> moving already costs so much, especially when you're moving to a different country, right? But like, a new PC setup is, cost, is gonna cost so much. And then I was like, well, you know, it's, it's, I could do something like what, um, like other streamers do the kind of like donathons like i'm moving help me out if you want if you don't that's fine but all of this really just go to my setup because it is yeah and i was like huh should i do something like that i've been thinking about it but i don't know if that's actually gonna end up happening it feels like a lot of work and i'm not sure if i'm up for it so hmm 
Also, I have like no templates. I have no idea who who's like. Yeah, I think moving is just another startup. It is. I love the idea of moving to a different country because it's just it's been fun. Both the like the one time I've done it, I had a lot of fun. Like it was stressful and it was a. Uh, it was kind of like not what I expected in a way, but it was a lot of fun. Like I, I enjoyed myself because I was just like, wow, I'm so glad I get to be in a completely different country, enjoying myself in a way that I didn't expect to be. Uh, by that, I meant the first few days in a different country were just spent in quarantine because that was just what was happening. And I just was stuck in a hotel room for like five days. And then when I finally got to my apartment, it was... I didn't have the keys to the house because they, they, they hadn't finished setting up the access system. So I just sort of was once again stuck in the house. But the day I got to go out, it was really fun because I explored my neighborhood. It was really cute. It was just so exciting. Although I don't think my second experience moving to a different country is going to be nearly as um, stressful or annoying. Because like, I'm hoping it's... Um, you know, it's gonna be very, like, smooth because I really wanna go stay at a hotel for a few days so that I can, like, fix my living situation. Like, actually see the house that I wanna stay at before I actually start staying in it. Because, like, last time when I went, when I moved, like, we didn't really have much of a choice but to just, for me to just go and I'd had to pick an apartment way before without being able to see the apartment at all. We had videos and stuff, but it was like very limited, right? And so the kitchen turned out to be like actually abysmal. But it, it worked out fine because it was like, you know, you can still order food and you can still eat out. You're a student, so it's like even more convenient because cooking is more inconvenient sometimes. But still, this time I really do want to make sure I find like a place I really, really like before I stay there. So... Yeah, hopefully I'll be able to go like a few days earlier um, and like look for a good house and then stay there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, very, very happy about this moving situation. But I would still need like a week to set stuff up for streaming specifically because, you know, I'd have to acquire a whole new PC, uh, install all the applications, get all the peripherals, all of that fun stuff, and then, and only then, will I be able to, um, yeah, will I be able to, like, live there, and also be able to stream at the same time. I'm really, really hoping for either getting a house all to myself, like a completely studio apartment, or a big a room with a, a bathroom to myself because i don't want to share a bathroom i am mildly misophobic it freaks me out the idea of sharing a bathroom i can do it with my family members i can share a bathroom with my family like my mom and my sister but i refuse to do it with random strangers okay it, it just doesn't sit right with me i i think i would want to die if i had to do that yeah privacy exactly oh my gosh it's so important also because i got the i got used to the idea of having my own bathroom because the first time i moved we specifically selected a place that would uh, like that had the option of getting your own bathroom so i got a private room and also a private bathroom so i was like i'm really glad because that was perfect but i'm also like i don't want to not have that like oh i guess in some ways it's a luxury having your own bathroom so i don't want to not have that luxury i i really don't think i can share a bathroom with random strangers that i've never really met before it does make me not pleased yeah I'm also hoping that I can find a room that has a, enough space for a big desk so I can actually have a really comfy streaming setup. I was also looking at, oh my gosh, I was looking at chairs. Holy shit. Like, I was just trying to find a very standard office chair. I don't want any of the fancy stuff. I don't think I'd use the fancy stuff the way that it's intended, like, to actually sit and game for hours because I don't really stay in one place for, like, over and over. And, like, I'm already sitting in a kind of uncomfy chair and still manage to be uh, comfortable. So I think I can manage as long as I have, like, pillows and stuff and there's, like, wrist armrests this time. 
So I was just like, oh, I'm just, I just want like a normal office chair because those have the most like actual support for your uh, back and your uh, neck and stuff. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna look for one. Why are office chairs so expensive? Like I was looking for it and it was like a hundred dollars and I was like, huh? Excuse me? A hundred dollars? I was like, maybe, mm, maybe this is just not for me. And I was like, maybe I could buy a chair second hand or ask if one of my friends has an extra one that they could lend me or something or send it to me or I don't know, man. But yeah, I was just like, oh, chairs are suddenly so weirdly expensive. Ah. So difficult, it really is. <laughs> But yeah, it was actually really nice being able to sit and like think of all the things that I'd need soon. And then I was looking at PC specs so that I could like decide what I want next. I do want like an i5. I still have an i5 right now and I think it's it's enough. Like I I don't mind having a higher like in uh, CPU. So I was like, oh, maybe I could get an i7 and like get a really nice graphics card. And then I was like, it's fine even if I have an i5 and a really nice graphics card, right? As long as it works well, I think it's fine. All I really need is a really good graphics card to combine with like a decent tier of an Intel CPU chip. Yeah. I'm gonna get a custom pre-built, well, a custom PC built for me because I don't trust myself to build it. I think I would break it. Or I'd, I'd find a way. Because I genuinely, I, I just have... I... I uh, <laughs> like, not to be stupid, but it kind of is a little bit. But I just really fear that I would find a way to like break one of the parts and they all cost so much and I don't want to try to figure out how exactly um, it all works out. So I'd rather just buy a custom PC and have it built for me instead of trying to build it myself. But that's also mostly because I just don't trust my skills in all of this department. My cable management is shit. I don't know how to cable manage. Right now, there's like a bunch of cables just floating on the in my near vicinity there's like mic cables headphone cables um cables that are connecting my monitors to my pc you know and then power cables and internet cables and there's just a lot of cables guys that i have not managed to manage and also like i was thinking like i really do dislike the idea of having Oh wow, it's moving like crazy. Holy shit. I just realized that. She went she went wild. Anyway, so I just real like I was thinking about how I dislike the fact that my my keyboard and my mouse are wired because they 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 like they kind of like the cables kind of get in the way of like moving it around and stuff and I was like, "No, next time I really want to get the a Bluetooth keyboard and a Bluetooth mouse because I'd rather just have the latency than have to jangle with the cables all the time." I know some people are really good with cable management, but I'm not one of them. I, frankly, am kind of terrible. Because the cables are everywhere. They're taking over my space. Sometimes the mouse cable gets stuck to the um, headphone cable and they drag each other around. Sometimes the mic cable gets stuck to the headphones and I don't know how to sometimes break it up. And I'm like, bro, why are these cables fighting amongst themselves? I just need them to be stay, like, you know, stay where they are, stay where they're supposed to. But yeah, the amount of cables is kind of ridiculous. It's just kind of like everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what to say. It's just so ridiculous. It's, it's so, 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 like, there's so many cables. It's very confusing. I wouldn't laugh last 10 minutes. Yeah, because, like, in the middle, I was using a Bluetooth mouse with my iPad and stuff. So I was, like, more used to how free it was. Like, a wired mouse is just so much not fun. And then in the middle, I was like, okay, let me just use my Bluetooth mouse that I bought for my iPad on my pc and i was having so much fun with it i was like oh this mouse is small it fits in my hand it just it's perfect right i was just like i really want this mouse so badly to be my actual normal mouse but it's just not gonna work out the way i want it to for various reasons because like this mouse can't just stay here forever 
I'd have to change out the batteries too often, all of that, like, fun stuff of, um, not fun stuff, so, yeah, I was like, I should, like, really buy an actual Bluetooth mouse soon for my PC specifically, and then I was like, well, I'm gonna be moving soon anyway, so I might as well only buy it for my new setup. I'm really excited about the new setup, though. I've been thinking about it since I got my first PC. So I was like, I was like, oh, this one is like a very starter, in my opinion. It's it's fine for now, you know, but I do need to upgrade at some point. And the, it makes the most sense to upgrade it when I'm moving, because even last year I knew I'd be moving this year. So I was like, oh, like, it's, it's just perfect. I'll upgrade it whenever I move and it'll be the, the best thing I've done for myself because this PC would stay behind. Um, at home for my sister, she'd be able to use it, she'll have fun, whatever, etc. You know, like yada yada yada, I don't really mind, I don't really care that much what happens to it after I'm gone. Because then it's not really my responsibility and I don't really need to manage it, so to speak. But I will obviously get, you know, extract all of the data I have on this and save it on my hard drive so it can go with me to my new PC. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but yeah, that would be like a very last, last day kind of thing. I'm actually really excited to get a new PC. So I was looking up monitors and, and chassis and all sorts of fun stuff. The last time I did this was all the way last year in January. Well, actually it was all the way in 2022 in December. Um, and it was really fun. <laughs> so I was having a lot of fun doing it all over again. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is so great. I'm so happy doing this. <laughs> can't wait to move. I genuinely wait, can't wait to move. Like, I think my favorite part of moving is the fact that I'll be in an airplane. <laughs> monitors cost a lot. It's true. I'm hoping to buy two monitors uh, while they're like on sale or something. Because when I move, I think it will be the sale period uh, in a lot of places. So I might like send it over to my friend's house um, in the city if that's where I end up moving. Because I can't reveal where I'm going yet. <laughs> but yeah, even if it's not my friend's house, um, there's a lot of people I know in a lot of like cities that I that I will be visiting. So I can like tell them to receive the deliveries for me. Obviously, I'll pay for them. But then, yeah, I can tell them to receive the deliveries and then I can just pick them up once I'm there. And it'll make sense at some point. Especially if it's a sale. Like, I just really need to conform my housing situation before I can order anything because it's like if I order stuff without conforming the housing situation it's gonna be very very messy um, and I might like end up getting you know a lot of money might go to things that it's not supposed to so like trying to arrange transportation for all of those random things that I need because it's not like that's the only thing I need to order online like in terms of I can't tell you guys yet <laughs> I'm gonna reveal where I'm going when I'm already there <laughs> I'm not heading to uh, France or Italy though for sure my plan is to reveal it to you guys when I'm already there and I'll be like guys I'm here now ha 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 Cause right now it's like pretty unambiguous where I am. Hint, no way, there's no hint. The hint is I'll be studying music. So I guess that's like the whole world is your oyster, huh? But yeah, I'm like, I'm like um crazy excited to move. It's not even a joke. Like I really love staying at home but staying at home for a year when i don't really have any friends who stay in the city anymore just means that i end up staying at home all the time like i ba barely leave my house and it's i i find it really hard to leave my house when i'm back in my hometown because it's like if i don't have a reason to head outside i just won't everything's really convenient there's a lot of grocery delivery food delivery apps here so it's like if I'm gonna be here, I there might as well just stay in my room and enjoy myself fully. I have no reason to head outside of my house, get any sun, get any like walking or exercise done at all. Uh, for a few months, I was literally just 
in bed the whole time. I would get up from bed, stream, get back into bed. It was a little bit ridiculous and I was getting really tired of it. I am really tired of it. So I'm like really looking forward to going back to going somewhere every day for a specific purpose because it's true that in this city where I live currently, I find it very hard to leave my room because if I don't have a reason to leave my house, I just won't. I'll just stay inside. I'll find reasons to stay inside more than I will find reasons to go outside. Even though I really like going outside, I find it very, very uh, soothing to take walks and have fun and go to like restaurants and cafes, but here I need like an actual reason to convince myself to head outside of the house, which is very inconvenient. Even when I'm like, I really want to go and have a snack, I'll be like, oh, but there, I have snacks at home. I didn't, I don't need to leave my, my house for that. And it's like, no, but I want to go outside. But then it's like, no, my brain's like, no, Mew, you have snacks at home. Stay home. Why leave the house and make yourself more tired? You know, you could stay at home, have a snack, be in bed. What's, what's not to like about that? But everyone needs social interaction and touching grass every few days. If you're being the bare minimum, my ideal amount would be at least once every day to go to the outside and take in some of the air. Because it's very important, you know, for your overall mental health, physical well-being, all of that fun stuff. I really need to sneeze, guys. I know it's really itchy. I'm gonna literally, like... Oh my god, it's stuck. Oh, that's not fun. But yeah, I'm very excited to move. Ah, I'm hoping that it'll be like my housing situation gets confirmed really, really soon. Because I've been looking at places. Oh my god, because I, I was looking at places. Oh, wait, let me tell you guys about this, right? So I was looking for like my ideal place to live. That would be close to my college. That would be, you know, like in my budget to pay rent for every single month because you know cost of living is rising everywhere and rent's rising everywhere so you gotta be careful you gotta be like smart about how much you want to pay you know and i was like okay i do want to live in a house that has like the semblance of it's clean and stuff so like i don't want to live in a super old house anyways um and then i was like okay i would like some amenities so like i'd like to have a swimming pool that i could use every once in a while and stuff like that and I, I kept adding more things to my list of things I might want um there were no options after I put all of those filters in um and then it was just like you what you want is just not av available and I was like um excuse me I'm sure it is that what the city's so big I cannot believe that you wouldn't have anything at all for me <laughs> And yeah, I was looking at so many different websites. It's actually exhausting trying to look for a place to live. But then I'm just hoping to hear back from my university and hopefully they'll be like, we have an internal agent who can help you out with this. And I'll be like, oh my gosh, for real? <gasps> for real? But I really don't want to pay a lot of money to live somewhere. Like it feels like, I think rent's the most expensive thing that you pay when you're living in a different city um you know unless you have some sort of medical condition which usually is more expensive than any of your other expenses but yeah when i think about it like my monthly um budget for spending would be quite a bit including rent excluding rent it's still like less than what i imagined it would be i was calculating all of this in the last few weeks i'm just hoping that I can conform my living situation soon so that I don't feel so up in the air about this. Not that I hate floating, but sometimes it's nice to have your feet flat on the ground, you know? But yeah. Anyways, moving co conversation aside, I was looking for a game to play for next week's schedule. And so I went to Hex and I was like, what do you think I should play next week, right? And she was just like, play the 8th game on your unplayed games list. And I was like, wow, okay, cool, I'm gonna go do that. And guess what popped up, guys? It was Celeste. So we're playing Celeste next week on Sunday. Also, I'm like so close to getting Clove. Oh my god, I'm like so close. I'll be able to get her way before next week's stream. 
So, we're gonna be playing Globe next week. I'm so excited. <laughs> also, like, all of her, like, um, swag, like, all the stuff that she has is so good. The skin that she, that she gives. <clears throat> Celeste, it's a precision platformer. It's a game. You gotta jump and you gotta, like, precision platform efficiently apparently i honestly i've seen people play it a little bit but not really that much so i'm really excited to actually play it because i think it'll be like an interesting game to experience if you guys know what i mean i'm very um i'm very i'm very excited for it yeah i'm very excited for it i i bought celeste when it was on like discount like a couple of months ago i think i actually don't remember so when did i buy celeste wait actually let me check i'm pretty sure i have the date as well celeste 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 um oh january 1st Dang, I can't believe I bought it on January 1st. This year? Oh my gosh, wow. Okay, yeah, I've been really excited to play this game because I've heard so many people talk about how much, how good the game is. So I've just been like, oh, I'm, I'm really, I really want to play it, right? Like, because it seems to be like a really, really good game. So I've just been like, yay, let's do this very, very soon, right? And finally, the day has come where I play Celeste. I wanted to play Apex as well next week, but I couldn't find a place to fit it in. You know, maybe, maybe a gorilla stream next week. I don't know. It'd be nice though. I haven't played Apex in a while, so it'd be nice to get back in the rhythm. Mm. Get back in the rhythm. <sighs> but yeah. Okay, I'm gonna start saying bye because I... Even though I'm not sleepy anymore, I do want to like rest my eyes because I have still a lot to do. I cannot fall asleep. If I do fall asleep, I'll still have to get up before 4 a.m. So that I can have that two hour recording window actually used up. <sighs> I'll wait for you guys to hear the cover tomorrow though. I'm very excited to release it. I've been really looking forward to seeing everyone's reaction to the cover that I have planned for the 1st of April. I feel like it'll be a predictable one, but you know, it's a classic. It's a classic, okay? It's a classic song um, to prank people to. I'm very excited for you guys' reaction. So, yeah. Okay, I'll start saying bye for real now because I take forever anyways, so like... I really, really appreciate all the love and support. Thank you so much, guys, for hanging out with me while we tried out the new 1.6 of Stardew Valley, even though, honestly, I didn't see a lot of new stuff because I'm pretty sure I haven't gotten the point where all the new stuff shows up. So, yeah. But hey, maybe more next time. We'll keep exploring. I do really like the way that summer looks, though. Wow, it looks really, really nice. And then... Yeah, we built that chicken coop, didn't buy a chicken though, um, fished a lot, leveled up our fishing to four, which is awesome. I'm, go I'm getting better at fishing, clearly, because I, I leveled up so quick. It was amazing. I was just like, oh my god, how did I do that? Yeah, and I earned a lot of money, surprisingly. I earned a lot of money and then spent a lot of it as well. But like a lot of money. Surprisingly, I was really, really surprised. Genuinely, really surprised. And we upgraded our axe to copper, which I've been looking forward to for a while. Managed to finish like two community bundles, which was great. I did not expect that I would get that done. I was just like, I don't think it's going to happen, you know, because it just is. There's it's so much work trying to finish those community bundles. I think next time I want to buy a new fishing rod and maybe send in my um, my uh, Sith for an upgrade. I don't know. We'll see which one of the tools should be upgraded first. You know, what's what's more lucrative 
what's more useful if you know what i mean and then autumn's gonna start in game soon so i'm hoping to plant as much corn as possible and get like five gold corn so that i can you know get it in that quality crops bundle and we'll plant pumpkins as well all gold hopefully or, or at least five gold i just need five gold so i can finish that so i can finish that community about well, the community center bundle like quality crops one the good good if if i may yeah i don't know man i, d I don't think i've gotten that much um progress in the community center as i'd want because you'd think that like with how much uh stuff they ask for you'd be able to get a lot of it done sooner but it's honestly it hasn't really seemed possible to me um which is sad because it's like oh i wish i'd paid a bit more attention and what not but yeah although i have to say stardew valley is more fun than i previously felt it was now i find it even more fun but i still don't think i can play it like all day all night kind of fun because i know some people who start playing stardew valley and then just never stop it's like their newest and old only obsession that they have at some point i don't think i can be one of those people um unfortunately i really hoped i was so i could have another reason to like to like be like oh my god stardew valley is so great guys i play it all the time but i genuinely just don't play it all the time seen the gameplay seen the gameplay but never tried it honestly it's a really nice game with the newest update it's even more worth buying because mm. like the the game developer concerned ape really does do a good job of upgrading stuff and adding new things every once in a while especially with the newest um upgrade i did feel like wow they're they're still dedicated to a game that's like close to eight years old yeah if it's the right taste it's true it's true they will get addicted to anything this is one of those games i feel like it's easy to start really 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 wanting to play it over and over and over again and trying to get all the achievements and everything you could possibly do with it especially since it's so open-ended you can go any direction you want like yes you have to plant crops for some quests but it's not like you have to have to plant crops for some quest like you can leave those until whenever you want to do them there's a lot of like really open-ended fun parts of the game like fishing and mining and that you can go on forever with it's a really really nice game you can do so much with it there's just so much to do it feels really fun to play that way i personally quite think quite think like the person who made it clearly um had a really really good idea and executed it pretty good I think, however, I think I will like Coral Island more because it's like a more upgraded Stardew Valley. It has um, a better graphics, in my opinion. Like the art style is more appealing to me. Um, I don't know when I'll get Coral Island though. It still has the familiar taste of being a cozy game. You farm and you fish and you... But, you know, Coral Island also has diving and mermaid people and a lot of stuff that I didn't know existed in the game. But now I know because I accidentally watched like two videos on it and spoiled a lot of stuff for myself. But I won't remember it enough to have it ruin my experience of the game when I eventually buy it. Because it's not going to be right now. It's quite expensive. Way more expensive than Stardew Valley, by the way. Like, it's like twice the price of Stardew Valley. So, in my opinion, it's still pretty fun. Would be a pretty fun game, but I don't want to spend too much money on a game. I think it would personally hurt my, my soul if I didn't buy it at a discount that I found agreeable to my soul, you know? But yeah, okay, oh my gosh, I got totally distracted and forgot that I was saying bye. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow for... We'll make funny music for April Fool's. You know, it'll be like kind of wacky, hopefully. I'm hoping that it ends up being kind of wacky because I haven't really ever made music for April Fool's. So it'll be interesting. Fun experimentation hours. And yeah, I had a lot of fun today. I'm so glad that we all got to enjoy ourselves. And hopefully you guys will have a great day too. And eat well and sleep well. And overall just have an amazing day. Okay. I'm gonna go and lie down for a bit. Because my eyes feel like they're gonna droop. 
they're, I'm gonna fall asleep on my desk at this point. So I'm gonna lie down for a bit. Hopefully that'll calm my body down and then I can stay awake for various things that I am supposed to finish, but I haven't. Because I'm a slacker. <laughs> bye bye. Mwah. Oh, that's not the right. Okay. Bye bye now. Mwah.